Hello, Ninja Clan. It is I, Ken Levitsky, and I am sorry that it has taken this long to get to the 11th episode of High Def Ninja Presents The Geek Cap. I've been pulling a Super Dave Osborne and hurting myself as much as humanly possible. Yes, after a scary long go with acid reflux and giving myself a concussion and having a horrific cold, I've essentially proven that I am the worst ninja since Chris Farley hit Beverly Hills in 1997. But we're not here to talk about me, we're here to talk about entertainment news. We're here for the Geek Cat. So let's get it on. Andrew Lincoln will be exiting The Walking Dead in its upcoming ninth season. Lincoln has, of course, been playing Rick Grimes since season one, the main character of the show. So this is a big surprise to almost everybody involved. He'll be joining Lauren Cohen, who will be leaving. She's been playing Maggie for the last few years. So expect a lot of big changes come season nine. At the moment, it sounds like Norman Reedus will take over the starring role of the show. And also very cool, John Berthel will be returning for one episode next season, portraying his classic character of Shane. Walking Dead returns to AMC this fall. Daniel Craig will return as James Bond 007 in James Bond 25, and has now received the release date of October 25th, 2019. Jim Carrey's retirement from acting didn't really last too long as he will return next year in the live action animation mashup, Sonic the Hedgehog. And who will Carrey be portraying? None other but Dr. Robotnik, Eggman, Sonic's nemesis since Sonic the Hedgehog 1 back in 1991. Colin Trevorrow will be returning to the director's chair for Jurassic World 3 and recently revealed that he would love to have both Sam Neill and Laura Dern return to the franchise. Of course, you got a little taste of Jeff Goldblum's return in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So it'd be very cool and very interesting to see both Alan Grant and Ellie Sadler return in Jurassic World 3. First trailer for Summer of 84 has hit online and it looks like a ton of fun. Directed by the group RKSS, the creators of Turbo Kid, Summer of 84 follows a group of young boys as they discover their neighbor is potentially a serial killer. That flick will hit select theaters, video on demand, and digital in August. M. Night Shyamalan a Ding Dong. M. Night Shyamalan a Ding Dong. Ding Dong. Ding Dong. He has revealed the poster for Glass, the upcoming third film in his Unbreakable Split series. And honestly, this poster gives more questions than it does answers. Showcasing the three characters made famous by James McAvoy, Bruce Willis, and Samuel L. Jackson. Glass will hit theaters in January 2019, and I want to know what you're thinking about this poster, because honestly, I'm in love with it. I think it's really cool. I can't wait for the San Diego Comic-Con coverage of this. Glass will, of course, have a panel there, and and M. Night and the whole cast will be attending. Neil Blomkamp will be returning to full-length feature films with Greenland, a film that will showcase one family's fight for survival in the face of a natural disaster. And very cool news, Chris Evans has just signed on to headline the project. The film doesn't have a release date yet, but it is scheduled to start principal photography the fourth quarter of this year. We are recently discussing how Robert Downey Jr. would love to see the Sherlock Holmes films continue, and good news, Sherlock Holmes 3 has just received a release date. Downey Jr. and Jude Law will both return. It's un known at this time whether Guy Ritchie will return to direct. Sherlock Holmes 3 is scheduled to hit theaters on Christmas Day 2020. Once again, The Crow is no more. The long in development Crow reboot has been scrapped as both writer-director Corn Hardy has left the project as well as star Jason Momoa. No word yet if another director will step in to take over the project, but as of now it looks like The Crow reboot is once again dead. DC Comics has announced the starting lineup for their DC Universe streaming service. On top of being able to read a bunch of digital comic books, you'll also get a bunch of movies and exclusive TV shows. Some of the films coming will include Christopher Reeve's Superman movies, classic and not-so-classic Batman films of the late 80s and 90s, some of DC's animated films, and Batman Begins. On the TV side of things, we're going to have brand new TV shows exclusive to the service, including Titans, Swamp Thing, Doom Patrol, Young Justice Outsiders, the third season of the highly acclaimed animated series, and an animated comedy series based on Harley Quinn. The complete DC Universe service will launch this fall. Marvel Comics has announced Return of Wolverine, the official return of the real Wolverine, Logan. Written by Charles Soule with art by Steve McNiven, Return of Wolverine will include a lot of things, 100 million variant covers, as well as a brand new power for everyone's favorite Canadian mutant. Oh, Sorry, Deadpool, I'm throwing that out there. On top of claws made out of adamantium, he'll now be able to heat up his claws. No word yet on how this whole power will work, but as a longtime Wolverine fan, I am not so sure I dig this idea. 
Nevertheless, I am pumped that Wolverine is returning, and I will 100% be picking up Return of Wolverine number one in September. Joss Whedon's Firefly is jumping ship from Dark Horse Comics to Boom Studios. Dark Horse has been home for Firefly and Serenity since 2005. And while I'm not sure why this jump is happening, it seems like Whedon himself is quite excited. Expect Boom's Firefly relaunch to soar into comic book stores this November. Titan Comics has announced a comic book series based on The Raid. The four-issue comic book series will follow the character Rama, if you're a fan of The Raid Redemption or The Raid 2, look forward to seeing The Raid comic book series in comic book stores August 1st of this year. And everyone, we're going to take a break today from video game coverage as we take a look at our Group by Spotlight. FYE has been picking up all kinds of exclusive steelbooks in the U.S. We have a few Group buys that you may be interested in. There's an exclusive Incredible Hulk steelbook coming as well as one for Carlito's Way. And we have Group buys for both on the forum right now. Links for both those group buys will be in the description box down below, but please remember, you must be a member at HighDefNinja.com in order to enter the group buy. And lastly, we're going to try something in uh, future episodes. A community Collector Spotlight, if you will. Are you a ninja with an awesome collection? It doesn't matter what kind of collection it is. It can be genre-specific or franchise-specific. Maybe you like comic books. Maybe you like vinyl. Maybe you like steelbooks, like most of the ninjas do. If you've got an awesome collection and you have it up on the forum right now and you would love people to see it, email me at Ken at HighDefNinja.com with the subject line HDN Collection. Collector. Tell me who you are, tell me why you collect, what you collect, and send me a link to your thread in the forum showcasing your collection. I'll choose one ninja every episode and I will showcase your collection right here on the Geek Cap. Well everyone, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed the Geek Cap episode 11. And as usual, I don't have a way to wrap this episode except to go, hey Jake, make me into an astronaut. Stay classy ninjas, we will see you soon. Look at me, I'm an astronaut. Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, Jesus! Jesus! Oh, Lord Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Oh, shit! Whoa, whoa! That was awesome! M. Night Shyamalan, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. M. Night Shyamalan, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. M. Night Shyamalan, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. M. Night Shyamalan. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. M night shamalama, M night shamalama, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. M night shamalama, ding dong, ding dong.